everybody. So, um, well, following in the footsteps of Bernie uh, as with his economic outlook, um, it's true that uh, hospitality, travel and tourism is generally been at the bottom of most of the charts and graphs that we've been looking at for the last uh, three months. So how are we dealing with that in our industry? Um, I have to tell you that uh, hoteliers uh, were obviously social animals and uh, we're in a very social, high touch, highly personal uh, environment and, and workspace. And so it has been difficult for us. But you know, we weather every storm. Uh, we're, we're hardworking, we're resilient, and we're definitely creative. Uh, and it's, 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 it's by nature uh, and by function that we are that way. So with those qualities, we shall uh, engage with the challenge and the recovery ahead. So, you know, uh, we've heard the word unprecedented, uh, rock bottom, things like that just thrown around. Uh, Arnie Sorensen reported Mari International's first quarter earnings uh, just recently, and um, we had a 90% drop in net income uh, compared to 2019. So that really does, you know, put it into a global perspective. Um, this is unprecedented uh, and it is global, but, but we still remain optimistic. Uh, I was the one uh, using the, the word wanderlust earlier. Uh, you cannot stop people. I think locally we can all agree that Filipinos will continue to go out to eat. They will continue to desire to get together. Um, and we just have to be prepared uh, to deal with that responsibly uh, and quickly. And, and that's what we're doing. So to sum up our priorities, I, I'll start with number one, uh, which is to first and foremost, we're focused on taking care of our people. Um, we are in the people industry. We're not in the hotel industry. And looking after our people right now is our number one priority. So we're trying to protect jobs. We're trying to protect uh, people's financial, emotional, and physical well-being, uh, and instituting programs that support all of that. You know, it is difficult. Some of the SMEs are really struggling. Uh, some of the bigger players have a little bit uh, deeper pockets and more resources to be able to support uh, and, and, and manage through this difficult time. So first and foremost, we're focused on taking care of our people, protecting jobs, and keeping everybody working as much as we possibly can. To do that, uh, you know, focuses on our second priority, which is to, to kind of reopen the industry uh, as safely and as quickly as possible. You know, um, at the moment in the NCR particularly, we probably haven't hit the bottom yet because, um, you know, through uh, tending to the essential services, returning OFWs, the BPO sector, et cetera, there is still a little bit of traction out there. Uh, and we're actually doing better than many other markets, both domestically and regionally. Um, so I think as we move into the general quarantine, uh, that's where we may sort of bottom out. And, and that's what we're looking for, you know, it, looking at. So how can we uh, continue the operation of our hotels um, safely, securely as we move into the general quarantine phases? So we're doing that now. We're, we're working hand in hand, public sector, private sector, you know, coming together with new standards for cleanliness, safety, sanitation, and, and, and operations uh, that, that we can meet the, uh, the expectations of our consumer, build confidence amongst them, and also service the needs that they, that they still have and want. And uh, people do, uh, do still want to go out to eat. They, they do still want to go uh, to, to rest, relax, and they do still have business needs uh, to travel uh, and to, to do business in, in, uh, across the economy. And, and we're there to service all those different sectors. Uh, we're retooling, we're retraining, we're rethinking everything that we do. Um, I'm getting a, a quick time check here, so I'll keep moving. Um, we are embracing, uh, I wouldn't say we're expanding the use of technology, but we're definitely accelerating the use of technology from mobile, you know, remote guest check-in, digital payments, mobile keys, using your cell phone to, to enter your room, people will try to lower the number of touch points, uh, but still have the same hospitality experience. Where long-term contingency planning is big, you know, we're talking about growing in the Philippines, we'll take these uh, opportunities to, to restructure our organization and um, kind of right-sizing and adapting to the new, the new normal. Um, of course, you know, we are blessed with a robust domestic tourism market. So, you know, rather than some markets where, that are really dependent on international tourists, you know, despite the, the, the double digit growth over the last 10 years, 
Uh, almost 85% of the tourism economy is domestically driven. So we're fairly optimistic about that. So the sooner we can start domestic travel and uh, give people that sense of confidence uh, in, our, in, in the safety uh, and, and, and uh, the, the nature of our business moving forward, I think we'll, we'll see the traction start to take place. So yeah, uh, there's there's a lot there. I'm sure there'll be some more comes up in the in the Q and A, um, but we're at the moment we're just uh, preparing our facilities uh, to, to 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 restart uh, and open to the general public. And uh, you know you can expect uh, the the highest levels of attention to detail on safety, sanitation, and personalization, with perhaps a few less touch points along the way. So look forward to taking questions later and thanks uh, for the opportunity. But again, the message is we will be back because we know that the public uh, will be looking for us to service uh, their, their needs in the future. Thank you very much.